Hello guys and welcome to today's episode. In this video we will solve the problem beautiful here. As always I will start with bringing a problem to you. It seems like the year of 2013 came only yesterday. Do you know a curious fact? The year of 2013 is the first year after the old 1987 with only distant digits. Now you are suggested to solve the following problem. Given a year number, find the minimum year number which is strictly larger than the given one and has only distinct digits. Input. The single line contains integer y with y between 1000 and 9000, the year number. Output. Print a single integer, the minimum year number that is strictly larger than y and all its digits are distinct. It is guaranteed that the answer exists. What we have to find out is we need to find the year with distinct digits, only distinct digits. That means no two digits that are the same. So for example 2013 just has a 2, 0, 1 and 3. So this is a number with only distinct digits. If we have for example the year 2011 or 2012 um, at 2012 we have the 2, the 0, the 1 and the 2 again, so we have 2 times 2 and that's not only distinct digits. Let's start with writing our PyTest test cases. Therefore we now need our base structure of our function that we will use. Here we have our function and the function will take a value n. And at the moment, just returns false. Now our test functions. Um, as you can see here, I'm uh, I've started my virtual environment where PyTest is installed, so we can uh, use PyTest later on. Here we invoke our function with our first input. It's 1987. And we assert that the result is 2013. Now, the second test example. Let's save it and use PyTest. Good, PyTest is working. We get two failed um, tests. That's good. Now for the implementation of our function. What we need to do first is to read in our first value, but we will just do this when we um, submit our code to Codeforces. Here we get our value n, or let's call it y, because it's um, called here y. We have to look all at all numbers that are bigger than y and take the first one that only has distinct digits because we don't know which year it will be, we need an infinite loop. And for an infinite loop, we just write while true. Now we want to start with checking if the number only has uh, distinct digits with y plus 1. Because it said that it's strictly larger, that means uh, not larger and equal to, so we don't start with y. And now we check if the length of the set of the string of y is equal to the length of the string of y. Let me explain this. We get y as our input. So y is the integer, is the year number. What we do here is first of all transform it to a string. Because the string is iterable and to use the set um, we need an iterable um, type. Now what do we do with set? A set is a data structure that doesn't take uh, duplicate values. That means you don't have duplicate values in a set, 
if you try to add a value to a set that is even uh, existing in the set, then it's not um, saved. So you you just have one appearance there. Um, that means if we have here, um, for example, the string with the year 2012, so 2012, and we um, do it in a set, then we get the set with 2, uh, 0, and 1, and the second 2 is not saved. And then we check the length of it. That means 2012 would give us the length of 3. And we now check if the length of the string that we give in is the same. That means we check that there are no duplicates. And when we check that there are no duplicates, that means we have only distinct digits. And if we find this, then we make a break, then we go out of our infinite loop, and we just return y. And that's it. Let's do our pi tests. And we've passed it. Now let's take this code and go to codeforce.com to submit it. We just need to change a few things. We don't want to return y, we want to print y. And we need to read in the y first. Y is input, and because we want to work here with an integer, we just cast it to an int. Let's submit it. And we see that the solution was accepted. Let's go back once again to the code and look at the interesting parts. In my point of view, the interesting part is using the data structure uh, set, um, because it often helps to check if there are duplicates, and that's what we need to do to solve this problem. And, of course, the length function, and maybe the special case um, here that an int value uh, doesn't have the length function, so you can't use the length function to an integer by itself. You first have to cast it to a string. And that's it. If you have any further questions, um, just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give it a like. And if you don't uh, want to miss any videos of me, just subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video and goodbye.